Well, okay, well, I just found a different story that just popped in my brain. Yeah. Talking about onions. Let's hear it. All right, well, I grew up right beside a church, and yeah. my mom still owns that house. That's where I grew up. Right. 33 years, been there, whatever. Mm-hmm. And at the church next door was actually the hangout for all the, the teenagers, you know, 11, 12, 13, 14. We weren't out smoking drugs and causing trouble. We were actually, swear to God, most of us were hanging out at the church at the youth group. Mm-hmm. We were all into God, and it was a Christian church, and blah, blah, blah. It wasn't Pentecostal, like, oh, going crazy and speaking in tongues and shit. Uh-huh. But it was involved, and they had really good leaders, so we thought. That's a whole different story. Did they touch you? No, not me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so we were all hanging out there, and this one Halloween, they said, no, you guys aren't trick-or-treating. You're not getting your candy. We'll give you candy. You're hanging out at the church because yeah. Halloween is evil, so we're going to celebrate it with God tonight. Okay, cool, fine. <laughs> and so they make two teams and you know there's from 14 to 11 aged appropriate on both sides or even teams whatever here I got a question though go ahead so if Halloween if people just decided to dress up as angels Jesus God and all these like saints right would would uh, Halloween still be evil if you were a zealot and take the Bible for its literal word yes because then you're making idols that would be the only yeah, reason. Would those, those and same be, people and, that would be calling Halloween evil? And because it's called Hallow's Eve, or like Hell yeah. of Eve in Mexican or something like that. I don't know. You could call it Halo Eve or Halloween. You can, you can, exactly. Halo no, I see your point. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We should go to the Catholic Church. We should go to our closest diocese. <laughs> and uh, yeah, for sure. And stump the Catholics again. Oh, I'm good at that because I went to a Catholic school. But yeah. anyways, back to the story about the onion. So there's two separate teams, and we're playing this, playing different games all night. Uh, who can eat the goldfish? Yeah. As in a literal goldfish or the cracker, right? I didn't have to eat the actual goldfish. My team leader did, right? Yeah. I had some crackers and whatever. Another game was there's a pillowcase full of food. Mm-hmm. Chocolate bar, banana, chili pepper, apple, onion, yeah. whatever. So I'm fourth last in line, and I didn't like onions to begin with. Like, when my mom cooked with onions, I didn't eat it, blah, blah, blah. So I, I already had, like, a hate for <laughs> onions. It's my turn, and there's an apple, a banana, and the onion left, but I'm in a rush because it's a race. So I just grabbed the onion, and I'm like, fuck, I can't do this. But I'm eight. No, I was, like, ten or eleven. Yeah. And, but my team's behind me, like, go, 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 Shane, go, Shane. Like, hurry up. I take one chomp of this fucking onion. It was a big, beautiful white onion. Yeah. The strong bastards. Oh, and I just, I didn't puke, but I just, my whole face felt like it went on fire. And I ran outside, and I was spitting off the balcony for like 40 minutes, just trying to get this taste out of my mouth. So ever since then, yeah. I can order a McDonald's burger, a double cheeseburger with no onion, and if there's one little fucking piece of onion, which we all know how small they are at McDonald's, yeah. if there's one, I'll notice it. Really? It's pfft, like Jeez. seared in my brain. But hmm. again, I like salsa. When I make yeah. a stir fry, I put onions in there. I put yeah. onions in everything I eat. Yeah, prob- I was probably five, six. My mom was dating this guy. Like, my mom was probably in her late twenties, early thirties. She dated this guy who's well into his late forties, early fifties. Right. His name so was he's Ron. significantly older. Yeah. Like his yeah. name was Ron, and he looked like uh, what you think of like an abusive stepfather would be. So he had the perfect. The, he had the, so he looked like a Ron. Yeah. When you he said Ron, like that's Ron. what I. That's a, yeah, that, like, okay. So he had yeah. Salt and pepper hair. <laughs> the first his, thing I thought he, of. He, <laughs> he looked like a drunk. He was a drunk. Uh, his name's Ron. Of course, he fits, he fits the bill. Yeah, okay. pretty much. Okay, okay I get it. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you two stories, three stories about Ron. All right. Uh, we had this thing where we had to sit at, at the dinner table and talk about our day. What happened in school? What'd you do? Right. You know, all this. What'd you learn? Uh, I didn't have anything. So, you just, you're, that particular day, you were yeah, blank. Yeah, my I was blank, right? It was a complete lie. I don't know why I said it. My turn. And I was like, well, this boy was chasing me today. So to get rid of him, I kissed him. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that does not sit that, well with a so Ron, that's what usually. I said. No, oh, I didn't fuck. Sit with Ron very well at all, right? <laughs> you can say that to a Bob or a Fred, not a Ron. Yeah. And the Jesus. look on this guy's face, <laughs> he's just like, what? Oh, yeah, you're getting your ass kissed, boy. And then my mom's trying to calm him down, right? I, I confess right away. No, I was joking. I was lying. Whatever. I don't think this guy, I don't think Ron. Believe me. So uh, Ron thought that you were lying about telling the truth. Yeah. He thought, ah, so yeah. now he thinks you're... Mm-hmm. And, by the way, nothing wrong with that. 
No. Let's be clear I'm, on this I'm not, podcast. Just be, yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The second one was um, peas. I hated peas growing up. And we were sitting in front of the table. Green we, beans for me, by the way. Green beans for me. Yeah? Love them now. No, I just like yeah. fucking peas. Yeah, like, yeah fucking I, pain I in the ass. I yeah. didn't like how they're mushy all the time. And you can't like eat more than two at a time. Pain yeah. in the ass. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't know that because I would just take spoons full and try and down them down my throat. And I would be sitting at the table for like 45 minutes. Didn't want to eat my peas. I ate everything else on my plate. Carrots, I hated, but I ate them. Quick question. Let me guess. You weren't allowed to leave until you eat your hey. peas. Correct? Yep. Yeah, yeah. But I sat there for about 45 minutes. Ron came up to me, right? I think I remember that everybody was sitting at the table. So maybe no one could leave the table until I ate my peas. That's right? actually, that's a, a second rule, which yeah. I was thinking of. Okay. Um, so he took my plate and threw it across the room, <laughs> right? And it, it like shattered right against the window. There's like above the sink right behind them yeah. uh, was the window, right? It was a small window, maybe about two feet by two feet, right? Cur white curtains on well, it. I typical remember. kitchen yeah. sink window, so yeah. So they're all like stiff as a fucking statue. And you know, we're looking at the window being like, did he crack it? Right? And the window was fine as far as I remember, Just right? the plate was broken. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's like, go to your fucking room. And so I, I run to my room, right? I'm crying and bawling. And I was yeah. like, well, I fucking hate peas, right? Yeah. <laughs> he comes into my room. He's like, get into bed. So I get into bed. I'm lying there. And he takes down all my posters. Oh, yeah. He just, he grabs them and rips them all down. I had about three or four. I had a Batman Returns. I had a Ninja Turtles. I had a couple other ones. I, can't, I think I had an Alien one, right? right? That's not like the entire reason why he tore them down specifically. But he was... It was one of those ones where I guess he was fed up, right? Yeah, I, he, he. I don't know. Unless he's like a complete, absolute psychopath, he's not going to rip posters down over peas. Yeah. So I think maybe it was, it was built he up. Have, yeah, it maybe was he had a shitty day at work, right? for all you know. Yeah. Right. You didn't ask him how was your day at work. No. He could have said, "Oh, shitty. I'm like, cut my friend's finger off." Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Um, have you had too much whiskey? I'm not enough. Probably. There you go. That guy. That's a Ron. Anyways, <laughs> I'll tell you the whole story about Ron. Okay. I, I think he's had stopped drinking for a little while, right? Who? But uh, my mom was pretty impressed. He was, he was, he wasn't as abusive as he was. So like, he probably did. Like, yeah. Um, With your... I don't know if he was physically abusive, but he definitely was. Broken. But when he wasn't, now that you're old enough to maybe yeah. fucking have light bulbs go off, yeah, he probably actually did take a couple weeks off. Yeah, it's possible. Right? Yeah. yeah. And anyways, um, my mom was like, "I want you to start calling him Dad." He because he, because he, he was for Father's Day. That's what it was. It was okay. for Father's Day. But even as a kid, you realized he didn't earn. Yeah, he did right. not okay. earn. Okay, yeah, that's cool. It's good. And the next day, I guess he was just like, "Oh, he called me Dad." Or whatever. Right. Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this guy out and like teach him how cars work and shit like that. Right. Five years later, uh, my mom had broken up with him. I probably just got fed up with the abuse. Right. right. Me and my sister were playing in my room, and my mom comes in. And she's like, I have something to tell you. Ron died. Okay. And I'm just like, I turn away. And I got this, I'm sorry to smug say, grin. I had a fucking smug look on my face. Yep. I had a big fucking grin. You're okay? Here. Like this guy, you know, I don't know what he was like before I knew him. Right? Maybe he was a nice guy when he was a kid. But this guy was just like, I'm glad. Like maybe it was karma. But I'm glad that guy fucking kicked the bucket. I that's, swear to God. That, you sh that's a, that's and my sister was. My sister had a connection with him, I guess, right? And just bald. Right? Over. Isn't that the f fucking cool part of, like, humanity? Yeah. This one prick can. I'm not saying he ruined your life or anything. He obviously affected no. it. Yeah. I'm telling the story. So exactly. In a negative way, where you, you, you turn yeah. your shoulder and you're like, yeah. fucking sweet when he dies. Yeah. And your sister has the exact opposite, right? Yeah. I mean,. Listen, I don't like Ron. I don't. I wouldn't like to. Actually, I'd like to meet him now. Now he'd be dead now for sure. Well, but the difference is that you know, same as mm -hmm. like there's aggressors in my past life. Yeah. That when I was younger, I was manipulated or you know like go do this for money and I, I get don't yeah. get paid or some some yeah. dumb shit. But whatever yeah. you know what I mean, I've been taken advantage of. So I was young and stupid. Yeah. And I'd love to meet the same people where I am now. Mm. Because then I can sit up straight and look him in the eye because things have changed a bit. Right? Yeah. yeah. I guarantee you can edit this part in is that, ladies and gentlemen, when we're coming back from this little break, uh, Shane here has a really good story for you. All right. This story is titled Shave Your Breasts. 
Save your breasts. Shave. After my mom and dad split up, um, of course, both parents started seeing other people. Right. And that's, you know, to be expected. I stayed with my mom for the most part, and she started seeing, she got a, she got a boyfriend. Was and Ron? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, he's not a Ron. No, no. In fact, he's a Bill. He's a... Oh, oh, he's a bill. Oh, oh, yeah, he's a bill. And bills are usually quite tidy. Uh-huh. Right? And when she first started dating this guy, Bill, he's a bill. Yeah. He was a really good guy, actually. Uh, he made good money. Yeah. He thought the right way. He, he did the right things. Right. And he could see that, okay, holy fuck, your kid's going to school with nothing. Yeah. And you got everything. So he bought shoes and he bought clothes and he did everything right. Um, he was the first person in years I'd wake up to go to school. I'd, you know, my alarm would go off. Okay, Shane, it's, you know, grade eight or whatever, or sorry, grade, grade five. Got to go to school. I'd wake up. I'd go downstairs and on our island, there'd be pancakes, bacon, eggs, breakfast every day. This guy, Bill, honestly, fucking, this guy was amazing, right? He had a great job, everything. When he first met my mom, you know, he liked to have a drink here and there. Scotch yeah. to go to bed. Nothing crazy. Yeah. My mom's a crazy alcoholic. Crazy alcoholic. Crazy partier. Especially because she just got single. And she was a good looking girl. So now she dragged him into that. Eventually, they started fighting. As, you know, yeah. as the year went on. Like a year, year and a half of their relationship. He got dragged into her drinking and partying and then... Whatever, and they started fighting more and more and more. <laughs> so, again, I'm, I'm, I'm still a child. I'm like, again, seven, eight, nine years old, whatever it is. And they're, they're fighting. I think it was nine, nine or ten, actually. And it had been getting worse and worse. Um, not, like, not, like, horrible, just, like, just in general. Like, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, asshole, right? But then they'd go to bed, they'd fuck, probably. And then they're happy the next, for the next couple days. But there's one particular night, <laughs> he had kind of had enough. The layout of my house, my mom's house, which, again, this house we still own, you walk in the front door, you walk straight, there's two steps up to left to the living room. Yeah. The living room's a big living room. And then if you go right, right away, there's nine steps up to the upstairs, which is where the master, my mom's bedroom is, my bedroom is, my sister's bedroom is. Yeah. And I wake up to both of them screaming, and I'm a kid. And I walk out my door into the hallway. My mom's at the top of the hallway mm-hmm. throwing socks and, like, nothing that's ever going to hurt the guy. Just, like, I don't know, like, throwing knitting shit. I don't know, whatever. He, he, he's throwing fucking forks, but he's only hitting, like, the fifth stair. Like, nothing's actually happening. Eventually, she, and again, I'm a kid. I'm like, okay, well, I don't, I don't know how to fucking respond to this. They're obviously having a serious fight. Yeah. Not physical, but kind of getting physical. Whatever. As I walk out my door, she runs down the stairs to try to, like, charge him. He just moves out of the way. He says, fuck you, bitch. He walks down the other stairs to go out the front door. He says, fuck you, bitch. You're crazy drunk. And for the love of God, shave your breasts. I've never heard anything like that in my life. And I've never wanted to, like, visualize anything like that in my life ever. This guy that my mom dated... He, he did a little bit of everything. He was a police officer. Uh, he was a bunch of other things. He was a psychologist. He's a therapist. He, we lived in a place here uh, in Abbotsford. I was in the basement and we would go through all these boxes, right? And I'd go through all these boxes and I noticed that there's magazines upon magazines, uh, Playboy magazine. And there must have been like fucking a dozen boxes. I'd go through all of them, right? And there was like one on top of the other. Oh my god, like how does somebody accumulate all this fucking porn? Like, I don't even know what to call it. Like, naked women, right? So I'm looking through all these, right? And I'm putting them back the way I found them, just in case of course. they get caught, right? After I find the Playboy magazines, I end up finding VHS tapes. They have women, like, they're like completely topless washing window and their breasts are fucking squeezing right up against the like the the window i'm getting hard but i don't know why <laughs> <What's> <laughs> but i was like what's so going on here they're, right? being, they're being squished yeah 
And, so uh, just like dominated. So. Oh yeah. There was this one video. It was a soft porn, but it was fucking. It was like pretty creative. It was about this vagina who could talk. And she was out there looking for a penis that could talk too, right? So this woman, she would sleep through all these dudes. Looking to find the talking looking penis. Looking to find the, the talking penis. Let right? me guess. So the, talking through, pe- the talking penis was Vietnamese. I, I can't remember. <laughs> but I, all I remember was from the, the very beginning to the very end, there's just this talking fucking vagina trying to communicate with all these dicks <laughs> <laughs> and not one fucking communicating back except throwing up in their <laughs> well yeah <laughs> until the only one threw up in it fucking like penis fucking talking or whatever right? uh-huh. I like, like I remember that and I remember Maybe, you know what you know what this sounds like that that's probably the same fucking pussy that the eight hundred dollar fucking hooker cost you. <laughs> Probably is. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember we ended up moving, put all those boxes into a shed in the backyard. I invite all my friends to come to the backyard into the shed oh, fuck and show yeah. all this fucking porn. Oh yeah. All the, all the videos and all the magazines. What well, what better way to endear yourself? Uh, to new friends at a new school and say, hey, boys, <laughs> hey, I'm new to school, but mm-hmm. come with me. Yeah. <laughs> I showed this kid, like, probably dozens of maybe Playboy magazines, right? He's just like, you can come over to my house. I found out my dad has a box full of fucking no, porn, right? Real. And his dad has, like, this little box of, like, comic book porn. It was, like, Japanese animation Holy porn. Holy shit. Right? I was like, Gary, this is kind of cool. Gary, you're <laughs> fucked, man. Like, I used to play, I used to play baseball and road hockey, and you're out there hanging out with your friends, uh, fucking looking at anime porn. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm out. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> My mom still lives in the house that I grew up in, yeah. which has been for 32 years. She still owns it. Awesome. It's fucked up. A lot of great memories. A lot of pro room memories. <laughs> what I know for a fact is that the garage is a complete shit show, and there are things that I would almost call relics, even though that's maybe too ancient of a word. There are some gems to find in there. Yeah. Some of those gems will be A, hockey cards, which are now moldy and fucking pointless. Yeah. Like a Wayne Gretzky rookie card. My brother had my brother had twenty sets of hockey cards. And they're gone. And then also in there is a whole huge suitcase full of porn. Now, the reason I know about this is because one, my brother, Dave, who's, uh, he's, you know, he's my brother. He's awesome. I love him. Different guy, whatever. Yeah. When he first moved to BC, he left because his shit in Ontario wasn't going so well. So he came out to BC to try again. And yeah. All was good. But when he left, I remember at, whether it was a year, year and a half, I remember him telling me on the phone Almost like in like a code that you don't want like fucking NSA listening to you. There is the brown suitcase in the garage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like it was like he was like he could have just said Shane. There's a suitcase of porn in the garage. This password is one two three four. <laughs> but he, I remember the way he said it, it was like trying to be secretive. <laughs> and anyways, I I found it a week later. It actually took me a while to find it. Now said suitcase is still in said garage. I have no idea where it is though. So, my mom currently is building a brand new house literally right down the road. When that house is built and completed, the house that I grew up in that she still owns, yeah. The biggest opportunity for me is all of the shit, like actual items, as in clutter, will be gone. It'll be in her new house. But also, go through every little nook and cranny and find fucking <laughs> treasure. From my childhood, I yeah. guarantee fucking tea, as I clean out every room, like, inch by inch, I'm going to find so much weird, cool shit from my childhood. It's going to make me smile. It's going to make me poop my pants, probably. It's going <laughs> to make me cry. And one of those items that I really look forward to is finding that suitcase of porn, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> because I guarantee you, the one that I left on top was, like, my favorite. Mm-hmm. So I'll open up this suitcase and say, fuck. 22 years ago, 
this was my favorite porno. And it'll be Playboy from 1992. Met my buddy's girlfriend's best friend at the time. I don't know if they're friends now or what. It seems like we hit it off, right? Like, from me being drunk as I was, I was attracted to her. We went back to uh, my buddy's house. From there, I started talking to her. Met, you know, like, making out with her. And shit. Yep, yep. It didn't occur to me until I got back to my house that uh, she had a disability. She it only had one pretty, working arm. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> all her arms worked. All her legs worked. But the problem was... She had a mental issue? She, she didn't really have a mental issue. Well, what was it then? Tell okay, us. I'm going to tell you. Oh, it was I can't a, wait. I realized that her eyes... Apart. More apart than they <laughs> should be. Right? I'm not saying this... <laughs> I'm not saying this to be insensitive. There are lots of normal people out there. Like one of these? What? There are lots of... <laughs> one of those? There are, lot, there are lots of, like, normal people out there that have all sorts of different... I, I disabilities, issues. Yes, of right? course, of course. Um, <laughs> of course. You know, maybe this wasn't a disability. Maybe it was just... You know, like something that I picked out that was <laughs> abnormal. Um, but anyways, she had her eyes were more separated than they should be. Right. So which one do you look at? I was trying to look at them both. You can't. You're you. You are not capable of that. I was not. I swear <laughs> to God. What's the opposite of cross-eyed? When you're looking in, what's that? Inverse, like inverse. Okay, you're looking. Extraverse. Sure, yeah, right, right. <laughs> you're yeah. extraverse, right? So you try to look at a both eyeballs in different directions, right? And I'm trying I'm trying to make out with this chick while So I'm hold on, so let, let, hold on, real quick question. Right. Let, let me make this clear. Okay. So as you're making out with this chick, you are consciously trying <laughs> to be fucking cross eyed or the opposite. The opposite of cross eyed. <laughs> it's like you are way you're, over that. You are mentally like processing, okay, put my eyes like out. <laughs> just so you could, <laughs> just so you could communicate. Like, oh, fuck, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I took, I fucking like, I pulled her brows down, or her blouse down, right? Her what? Her blouse, <laughs> okay. not her brows. Her blouse. <laughs> fuck you! I didn't want to pull her brows down. I pulled her blouse down. Yeah. I got myself a forest chick. Oh yeah. Oh, I see long hand, big brows. <laughs> I pulled her fucking, I pulled her blouse down, and I was sucking on her titties, right? But I noticed, like, you know, like a little stringy thing happened in there, right? She had hair coming out of her nipples. And uh, I kind of like move up, and I was just like, "There's fucking hairs around her nipples." Okay, it right? happens. It happens, right? Right. But this is the first time that it's ever happened to me. To you. Uh, right? So you didn't know what to do. So I didn't know what to do. So I kept Heck? sucking on them. I didn't know what to do. So I was just like, I don't want to feel it. I, don't, I didn't want to make this chick feel self-conscious. So I was like, I'll just keep sucking on them. Right. Fucking hairy, hairy nipples. <laughs> right. It must have gone on for a good half an hour. Right? I'm just like, you know what? I'm half cut. Like, I'm half drunk. I'm going to try to sleep with this chick, even though... I'm really disgusted by her. <laughs> I gotta and, get, like, I'm tasting her fucking hairy nose. I gotta give you two things. Okay, if if it's fact. I gotta give you two things with kudos. All right. If it was a legitimate half an hour yeah. of sucking on hair, if it was ten minutes, that's more realistic. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say it was probably about... Closer to ten minutes. Ten to fifteen minutes. Okay, Maybe not 20. half an hour. Okay, cool. Nonetheless, nonetheless, that's still positive. Well done, sir. Uh, you're sitting there fucking, oh my god, I just want to get my cock sucked and smash that puss, but... I got... It never fucking happened! No, no, no! Oh, cool! No! What happened was, like, I was sucking on well, her I was, fucking... I was giving him kudos, I was kudos, sucking on her nipples, right? And, and, and she came to the point where it's like, you know, you know, I just met you last night. Oh, one I of those... I would like to go on oh. an official date with you before anything official happens. Those are the worst. Uh, she was like... She went down my pants, played with my cock. That right? much does nothing. But does zero. Absolutely nothing, right? But like we ki- we made out, we kissed. Okay. She played with my ball. Are you gonna come? Are you I gonna? I fingered her. But are you gonna come off a hand job? No. Never. Thank no. you. Exactly. No. 
right? And she's nope, like, who comes off a hand job? I want to go on a date, right? And I was just like, okay, okay, I'll give you a call. Hand right? So I fucking like, I made out with her for about half an hour longer. I was like, oh, you probably should go because I gotta pick up my kid, which was a fucking Get lie. Get the fuck out And I never talked to her ever again. <laughs> I mean, I know, like, if it was just one hair, right, that she missed, <laughs> it would have been, like, okay, like, whatever, whatever. It's right? an oopsie. Right? <laughs> but, like, when there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the other boob is, like, you know, like, maybe six or seven. But what if they're, like, strategic? It's kind of like, yeah. yeah, you all clearly weren't taking care of yourself. And the thing that makes me or mad. Or she hasn't been laid, like, Gary, long time. the reason that I'm mad... I'm like fucking pissed off right now. Yeah. No, this fucking got me hot. You did your fucking job, man. I know. I you did. sacrificed I did. your own fucking dignity. Yeah. To suck on those hairy fucking titties. I know. Because you know what you're doing? Sucking on those hairy, disgusting titties. Expecting. Well, to get some reciprocation yeah. of some sort. Yeah. And you got fucking thrown to the wind. So you yeah. know what? I don't yeah. know. You know, I don't, I don't want to know her name. Whoever you I don't are, even remember her fucking this, name. This, hey, I gotta so, give you, I gotta give you kudos for the effort for yay, sure. Yeah, yeah. Gary Tread. So, <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. I have no beers in my. <laughs>